Uh, but we have Tom Peterson from NVIDIA back yes. in studio with us. Awesome. Tech Talk with Tom. I hey, labeled hey. this segment Tech Talk with it's Tom. It's a brand new segment. It's a brand new segment. And this is going to be extra exciting. We've already learned so much. I feel so educated yes. on MFAA. You talked about global illumination yesterday. What, are you, what did you bring us for this segment? Well, this is going to be exciting because normally I would expect there to be a picture behind here of the video that I'm going to show. But since there's not, okay. instead what we're going to do is we're going to talk you through it. Oh, okay. Okay, so there is actually a technology that we're launching called Dynamic Super Resolution. Do you want to draw a diagram? I would love to oh draw a diagram. <laughs> yes, yeah, let's do I, it. I'm a visual learner. I, are you? Okay. I, I, Absolutely. How do you learn best? Okay. Yes. Okay, so. Take it away. This is awesome, old school. First, let me explain it to you. Oh, yeah. okay. Explain it first, sir. So if you, if you imagine for a second, uh, something like 90% of all gamers have 19 by 10 monitors. And there's a lot of games that are now with Maxwell, the GPU is so fast that effectively we can just peg those games. So you're running 60 frames a second, you've got all the options turned up, you've got anti-aliasing turned on, and you're still, you know, you're getting the best that game can do, but you're at 19 by 10, so there's like 50% of your GPU that's doing nothing, right. right? Now, how can you make that experience better? It's been hard, right? You're, you're kind of maxed out, the display is maxed out. DSR lets us make those games even better. And it's because what we actually do is a brand new thing. We render the game the at four gigs. Oh, the so video's you know. coming through. Yes, it's about to come through. Yeah, through. All right, so what we do is we render the game at 4K. So inside of our, hey, hey, thank you, control room. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a video. So what we're going to do is we're going to render at 4K, and then we're going to actually downsample that using a Gaussian filter, which is just a way to kind of take something that's really big and then do an approximation with some nice uh, edges at a lower resolution. So that allows us to get great quality, a perfect 4K image in the memory, mm -hmm. and then we kind of filter it so it looks beautiful on a 19 by 10 monitor, and that's really it. Okay. So the game effectively thinks it's running at 4K, but we make it look beautiful on your existing 19 by 10 monitor. So now that we have the video, why don't I show you? Which that's what most gamers have. It's we like 90%. Like 90%. Yeah, so this I'm going to get this technical. This is really important for, for yeah. people that are watching. It's like that many. Oh, many. thank you for using the diagram. Ninety percent. It's like okay. <laughs> and 90%. I was wanting a, I was wanting something to hold up for our Skype. Yeah, there you go. Uh, audience, Ninety percent so Skype. Ninety percent of you guys. Holla. Okay, so let's do the uh, touch screen thing. This is uh, exciting. Boom! Here we go. Okay. So I'm a little I'm a little hesitant to touch this one now. So we're gonna see what happens. Okay. So the touch screen is touchy. It is. Yeah. It's actually working. Okay, so this is a, a video that's also on NVIDIA.com. You can download it. And what we're saying is a, a game like Dark Souls 2, which is, by the way, a great freaking game. It's really, really hard. If you guys have not tried it, try it. Um, you might be rendering the game uh, into a frame buffer. And as a matter of fact, you are. Um, but a lot of games get pegged. You know, you're running at uh, 19 by 10 resolution in the frame buffer. So let me tell you what this is showing you. In a frame buffer, there's a grid. And the grid normally matches the size of your screen. So it might be 1,900 pixels this way and 1,000 pixels this way. That's, you know, that's what you kind of think. Mm -hmm. My frame buffer is the place that the GPU writes into. And then after the frame is finished, you know, it's all composed, all the effects are done, we scan it out onto the monitor. Now, the interesting thing is sometimes gamers have found that if they run a game at 19 by 10, it runs really slow. So what they do is lower the resolution of the game to get the frame rates up. But I don't think a lot of people have thought about what does it mean when you lower the resolution of the game? Because your monitor is still 19 by 10, right? right? So what we're actually doing is we're using a smaller image. We're rendering it to a smaller image in the frame buffer. And then we're using hardware, a hardware scaler, to scale it back up. So when you look at this picture, this grid is kind of showing you, OK, it's now a coarser image, but then we're going to blow it up in hardware. So right? you could tear it down and build it back up. Exactly. Basically. And the reason you go small is because it can run faster. Okay, now the DSR goes the other way. DSR is saying, okay, why don't we make the frame buffer bigger and then we'll scale it back down. And it works in your game. You know, that was just showing you the UI for Dark Souls 2. Um, with DSR, there's new resolutions that are created. And in the game, you can set to that new resolution. And then in the frame buffer, instead of rendering at 19 by 10, we're going to render at 4K. Mm -hmm. And what that means is you get a lot more information per pixel that's displayed. And remember, the pixel is just the resolution of your screen. So we're at 4K now, and then what we're going to do is we're going to send that to your screen using a 13-tap Gaussian filter. So it takes this big image and kind of shrinks it down. Okay, so it's a pretty it, simple it, concept. It tears it down, builds it back up. It's kind of like the Jason Bourne of 
like it is reconstruct right? or say the six six million dollar man right deconstruct you <laughs> and then reconstruct you you break it down and then make it stronger yeah. and better and faster it, right yep. and now i think i can show you a side by side of this hopefully a little scene yeah here you go all right so what you're about to see is a hardware capture we use a little machine that you can connect up to a hardware capture and instead of capturing say um, you know you can capture your screen exactly what you would have seen and we can show it to you in a video so this is actually showing you Dark Souls 2, and that's a 19 by 10, in, 10 image. And the thing I want you to focus on, ooh, the thing I want you to focus Super on. pixely. Okay, uh-oh, I think I'm skipping forward. Okay, so let me back up just a bit. Oh, this is advanced. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. We're dragging. That was advanced. You have no idea. All right, so what I want you to notice is these little lines right here. See how the, the this is grass back here, and you're seeing these weird chunkiness. And you can tell that it could have colored that better, but it's chunky. It's, it's a lot of aliasing. It's a on. lot of aliasing. And what's even worse, it's, it's missampled. Because it's not just jaggy edges. It's like, here's a bit of grass, and then there's no grass, and then there's here's a bit of grass. So what is happening? What's actually happening is because you're running the screen at 19 by 10, you're actually sampling what's called a texture, which is a, the image that's replicated to make all these grasses. And that image is actually really large but you're sampling it at a very coarse grid, and that's why sometimes you get grass and sometimes you don't. Now, if you look at what DSR does, oh yeah, DSR fills in those grasses, right? So it's now more continuous and the grass looks more real. But it's really amazing when you see it in motion. DSR is all about eliminating things called scintillation. So here we are again. This is 19 by 10. And what you're gonna look for is actually as we move the camera around, let's see. We are getting ready to move the camera. Oh, 19 by 10 is here. DSR, did I not move the camera around? Here we go. This is 19 by 10. And look at the grass as we move. It kind of pops in and out a little bit, right? The grass is kind of going shh, a little shimmery thing here. And now if you watch when we go to DSR mode, the grass is actually very, very solid. It looks mm -hmm. almost more 3D. What's interesting is both of those images are running at 19 by 10. But in the DSR mode, we're rendering it much larger and then scaling it down. Now explain, because we had some Skype questions earlier about what the um, the benefits of Maxwell. Yes. Um, and, you, and you were mentioning how MFAA isn't necessarily going to translate on certain uh, machines. GPUs, right. Yeah, but the DSR is one of those things that will. Yes. So we had a bunch of questions come up. And I want to say right now that I'm going to tell you we are going to bring this technology to the 700 series. Oh, so awesome. for sure, DSR technology is going to come for sure to, there you go, hands up on the <laughs> Skype, guys. So yeah, that's for you. Happy about that. Hands up. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. So that's exciting. And it, it, it's. And give us the prices again for these. So uh, the 980 is 549 mm -hmm. and the 970 is 329 that's, and we were talking about that's the, for the 329. If that's that where they're going to enter in at, you're getting so oh, much power. That that is amazing performance at an amazing price. So 970 is is truly uh, breathtaking. 